there. It's Crafty Kristen again with MinistryToChildren.com. And we have a couple of fun crafts today that have to do with being joyful and delighted and just happy overall. Because we're talking about a story that has to do with some people who rejoiced and were glad in the person of Jesus because they knew they had just met someone special. So in our Nativity Noteworthy's lesson series, we're talking today about two characters who were in the temple in Jerusalem. Right after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took him to this temple to dedicate him to the Lord and to go through their usual newborn ceremonies. And so there was a prophetess named Anna and also a devout man named Simeon who were in the temple the same day that they came in. And they right away knew who Jesus was and how special he was. And they came to Mary and Joseph and spoke with them and shared with them how important and world-changing this son of theirs would be. And they also rejoiced because both Anna and Simeon loved God and served him very, very much. And they were exceedingly happy and wondered and delighted that this king had been born and that they had been able to meet the Messiah. So their reaction was just being overwhelmed and absolutely content that God had allowed them to see his son. And so because of that joyfulness, we have two crafts today that have to do with joy in Jesus and with being delighted in the fact that we can have Jesus as well. So the first thing we're going to do, both of these are relatively simple. The first one is one that's kind of just an old classic. We're going to make a bead bracelet. Now, you can be structured or you can be more creative with this. So you may want to have each color have a different meaning and connect those to something to do with Christ. So you can have a pipe cleaner or some string to start you off. Either one will do. Sometimes the pipe cleaners are a little bit easier to get the beads onto. But if you want to make perhaps a necklace or do something a little bit longer, you could do string as well. Now you also want a variety of beads. So you can do a cross if you want to make that Christ connection, or you can do letters if you want to spell something out. There are some great, fun, festive letter type beads. Um, or you can have colors, as I mentioned, you can do different colors according to different parts of Christ's life. So maybe you have a red bead for his blood that was shed and you can also have a white bead for the purity that we get through Christ or you might have a black one for our sins you can make it more of a storytelling bracelet as well um, or if you just have a whole lot of colorful beads and you want to make this something that's fun and joyful and delightful you can let the kids pick a variety of colored beads. And then once you're finished, of course, you want to carefully measure how wide the student's wrist is and attach it so that it's in the right tie off. Or if you're using string, tie it off to fit as well or make it into a necklace. You have a lot of options, but the idea is just sort of something that's fun, something that kids can wrap their fingers around, that they can manipulate and put their fingers on, that has a special meaning and a tie to joy in Jesus. So the other craft that we're going to make today is a little bit different, and it also has to do with being happy and having joy in Jesus. And for this one, you're going to need a piece of string. This You are going to want a string rather than a pipe cleaner. You're going to need some decorative supplies. You're going to need a styrofoam cup, if your cat hasn't tried to knock it off the counter. And you're going to also need some pom-poms, which could go in the decorative supplies category. You can have stickers or markers as well, but these you're going to need and some glue. I highly recommend you can do it with Elmer's glue if you have a tacky glue. That might work a little bit better for adhering the pom-poms to the foam cup. It can get a little bit tricky. You have to kind of be patient if you're using regular glue because you just have to wait for it a minute so it will dry. And that string is not a toy. That is part of the craft. Um, 
So what you're going to do is you're going to be making a game. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more thing that is helpful, not absolutely necessary, but helpful, and that's a large popsicle stick. Again, you don't have to have this, but it helps a lot. You can use a spoon or something else if you don't have a popsicle stick. But what you're gonna do, so you're gonna start out by getting the cat off of the counter. I need that string, baby, thank you so much. Thanks. And then you're going to start by decorating your cup. So you could write a verse or a phrase. You might write um, joy in Jesus or rejoice, Jesus has come. Um, you can write a specific verse. You can tape a verse, however you want to decorate. You can put stickers. And again, you can glue on your pom-poms, but if you use the Elmer's glue, you really have to squish it on there and then you have to hold it for maybe if even 15 to 20 seconds, just so you can make sure that it's sticking because otherwise it will fall off pretty quickly and easily. And so after you have put your decorations onto your cup, you're going to take your stick and you're going to carefully, again, you might have to let it dry if you do the, pop, the pom poms on here first. You're going to carefully poke your stick through the cup. You can usually do this on its own. If you're nervous about that, you can cut a slit with scissors first and then poke the stick through. Then you are going to take your string, one side of the string, you are going to tie onto your popsicle stick. And you could even probably do this before you poke it through because you're gonna need to tie it kind of right down, not right in the middle, but maybe a quarter of the way down. And make sure you have that tied nice and secure on the other end of your string, you are going to attach a large pom-pom. You could also attach a big cotton ball. You could do a really, really big bead if you have a really big bead. Um, something that's going to be not too heavy, but heavy enough that you can fit it into the cup because the idea is we're making a little game out of this. And this is a smaller pom-pom. I would recommend using a bigger one. And what you're gonna do is once you have your pom-pom on your string, you're going to poke it, seriously now, you're going to poke it back through, if you have not already done so, and you're going to be holding the stick. And the idea is, okay, I need my demonstration craft cat, thank you. The idea is, she just walked through with a pom-pom in her mouth. But you're trying to catch the pom-pom, which is now invisible because the cat took it away. You're going to try and attach the pom-pom and catch it into the cup. It's actually a lot more difficult than you would think. So let's just try it with this little bead since my other object has wandered away. And again, this kind of a thing would work as well because it's just you just need to have something that could fit into the cup. And it is, as I say, it's challenging. You're going to try and toss it up and fit it into the cup. Sometimes you get it on the first try, sometimes it takes several. So here you have your fun, festive, flared up, decorated cup. It says rejoice in Jesus. And you have your stick to hold it with and you have your little tiny game to try and get inside. Something to occupy yourself, very simple, easy to make, fun to make, fun to do and watch out if the cat is around. So enjoy, feel free to make it as creatively embellished as you like, have fun, make some crafts, make some disciples. I'll see you next time.